block from last week we're going to review real quick was just a basic step forward into our cat and then we're going to block across and I'm using the blade end to block because the blade is more delicate this way and stronger this way. So I'm using the blade to defend. Then I'm going to step forward and open my hand in for a cut. Okay? And my cut, I keep my wrist straight and just cut. And one, two, three. Good. Then one, two. Alright, so now we get a little flow to it, or we're trying to understand this was our review from last week. So this week what I like to do is take that half stance and turn it into a twist so that we can flow into the technique a little bit. Okay? So we're going to do one, two, three, just like usual. Instead of stepping forward, we're just going to twist right into our cat, cross stance, and then step forward. Okay? So this way we're going to make it a little bit more smooth. Okay? Alright, let's try that again. Ready? And one, two, three, and one, two. Okay. So from my on guard, we just do a little twist, step forward, and then step forward on guard. And then twist, and then reset. Alright, so take your time, play with it all the way down the line. First two might feel a little weird, and as we go, they feel good. basically our first strike. So it's like someone's striking at us and all we're doing is just turning away from it, okay, to defend it, okay? Now our step forward just represents that our lead leg is maneuvering. It doesn't necessarily have to go forward, it can come to the side. So what we're going to do is as the person strikes, I'm going to defend and then I'm going to step to the side because what I'm attacking is the hand, right? So that's kind of where I'm going to go with that instead of going like this. <laughs> right? So we're not going to do that. What it's teaching us is, is maneuvering. Sometimes people, you know, uh, forms and techniques are designed to teach you the fundamentals and then it's up to us to understand what needs to be done. And the, the person or the thing we're trying to come after is always pretty much the hands. Okay? I mean, sometimes you know, slice the thumb edge, slice you know, other parts. But once you injure the hand, then he can no longer have the weapon. Okay? And that's kind of the same thing if you had a long coat, you know, a staff, and you did the same technique, blocked it, grabbed it, you're trying to cut his hand, because once you do that, he's going to let the stick go, then you can finish off. Okay? So a lot of times, it's, it's you're trying to disarm the op opponent, so the attack bar is always going to go towards there. Okay? So what we're going to do is just to gently, now it's not a real strong block, alright? So you got 6%. Right? So you're not going to be doing, it's not a strong block like, you know, like that. Right? It's a lead block. She so comes in, see, and then I just cut. Right? Because it's just leading. All I want to do is stop the blade from hitting me, and then right up against the blade, and cut. Right, right. 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 Right, right.
Step. 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 Step.